This is an example of another rational integral. But this time we're going to have to do a u substitution to start the problem to actually make it into one of those types of rational integrals that we can go ahead and use a partial diffraction decomposition on. So let's start by doing the u sub here. And we're going to let u be equal to the sine of x. And the derivative very nicely gives us cos of x dx. And so our integral now becomes, instead of cos x dx, that becomes your du. And I'm going to pull that off to the side. And then instead of sine cubed, that's going to be u cubed. And instead of sine, that's going to be u. Right? Now, let's just focus on this because we need to decompose it. Um, there's no basic integral and we can't use long division. And so what we're going to do is we're going to write it in the factor form. And all we can do is just factor out a u. And at this point, now we see that there is one linear term and one quadratic term, right? So we're going to write this as a over u for the linear term. And then we're going to have bu plus c, not bx plus c, because everything's in terms of u, divided by u squared plus 1. All right. We're going to multiply both sides by the common denominator and simplify it. And this actually works out really nicely, because um, once we multiply it through, we are going to have 1. That's going to cancel all. When we multiply both sides by u, u squared plus 1, that cancels all this. The a is going to be multiplied by the u squared plus 1, because that's what's missing in the denominator. And then bu plus c is going to be multiplied by u. Now, in this case, let's use the um, matrix method or the system method to be able to solve this, just because it seems like it's going to be a little bit easier than trying to find nice numbers. Like we know 0 will work. OK, we could probably find easily that A is 1, but we could just go ahead and find them all at one point. So by distributing and also filling in missing powers of U square and U, we get 0 U square plus U plus 1 equals A U square plus A plus B U square plus C U. And right away, we can get a few of the, um, <clears throat> of the undetermined coefficients just by putting in the system. So we certainly have a BU square and an AU, all right? So AU square plus BU square is going to be equal to zero. So we're going to say A plus B is equal to zero. With the single U's, we have CU equals zero, right? So we're going to have that C equals zero, which is really nice because that's done. And then we also have that A is equal to one because it's the only term that does not have a U within it which means that by default, 1 plus b equals 0. So that means that b equals negative 1. So we have our three undetermined coefficients really quick. We're going to throw those back into here and get an integral out of this. Okay, So our integral, and remember it's in terms of u, is going to be 1 over u du, which is really easy to evaluate. And then we have this negative u plus zero, because c is zero, divided by u squared plus one du. And of course, we're just going to write this as zero, or I'm sorry, just negative u in the numerator. All right. Now, for us, we can also factor out the negative right here. So it's going to be the opposite, right? And this is going to be Certainly, we could use a trig substitution, but a u substitution looks a little better. We've already used the letter u. So I'm going to make this still a substitution. I'm going to call a equal to u squared plus 1. da is going to be equal to 2u du, which is helpful because we have u and du, but we don't want 2. So da over 2 is going to be u du. So now we have an integral that's in terms of a, that was originally in terms of u, that was originally in terms of x, trigonometric. All right, but the good news is we're getting really close to finishing this off. Integral one over u du stays. 
minus the integral of dA over 2 divided by A. And so just by integrating those, really easy. This is ln absolute U minus 1 half ln absolute A plus C. Back substituting for A, where A is U squared plus 1. So we get ln of U minus 1 half ln U squared plus 1 plus C. Remembering that U at the very beginning of the problem was equal to the sine of X. We're going to get the natural log of sine x minus one half ln sine square plus one plus c. And if we really wanted to turn this into a single logarithm, make this the one half power or square root, and then we have a positive and a negative. So we're going to have the sine x in the numerator. So another way to write this would be ln absolute sine x over the square root from that one half power, sine square x plus one, and then plus c. All right, and that's about as good as we can get with this, right? So this just illustrating that sometimes being able to perform the substitution at the very beginning and then using the partial fractions in tandem with that can still get us to the right answer for our integral. All right, so we have one more example. We're gonna do that in the next video, and that'll be the last one that we have for these um, sort of rational integrals.